we really don't believe that God loves us. Some of us do. God bless you. But some of us don't really believe that God loves us. And it's the enemy. It's the devil and it's the flesh. But this is how you know he loved you. Okay, God created the heavens and the earth, right? Genesis 1. Genesis 2, he makes people, Adam and Eve. Makes them in his image, tells them, hey, do whatever you want. Love me, all the things, but don't eat from that tree. Genesis 3, the serpent comes, deceives them. They eat from the tree. What happens? That means they sin against God, and the relationship between God and man is broken. Now, we all born, like Adam, loving everything that God has made instead of loving God himself. And so, there's a problem where we want to be made right with God. We, we do all these sacrifices. We do all these works. We try to obey the law, and we can't. We, we try our best. So, God saw your raggedy tail self and knew you could sing as many Tamil man songs as you want. You could say, take me to the king and he ain't going to take you unless he sends his son in the flesh. So Jesus comes, lives life. This is God, the creator of the universe, who becomes a human being, born as a nasty baby in a manger, becomes a human being, takes on sin, becomes a propitiation for us. Your raggedy tail self absorbing the wrath of God that was reserved from you, dies, goes to the grave, resurrects, sends his Holy Spirit. And now for those who repent and believe in his name, which is all the product of grace, God calls you children of God. What else do you need to prove that God loves you? What else? 